welcome back to another video. Today I have my sweet Persephone on my lap and I am ready to do something kind of different. Something that a lot of you know about me is that I am an English teacher. I teach full time at a local high school uh, and I teach ninth graders. And something that a lot of you might not know about me is that I absolutely love creative writing. Ever since I was little, I used to carry around this notebook with me all the time and I would always write uh, poetry, which normally followed, of course, the roses are red, violets are blue kind of. Um, structure but I loved writing poetry and after that I kind of graduated into writing uh, I guess short stories at the time that I thought were like complex novels of course because I was seven or eight years old and I always used to print them out and illustrate them myself and I would have a lot of fun at home making my own little books and I always told myself that one day I was going to be an author and that is what I wanted to do I really wanted to grow up to become a writer I wanted to write books I wanted to publish poetry books I wanted to illustrate them myself and I wanted to do it all on my own and normally I wouldn't think that this really fits on the style of my channel but I think writing illustrating and publishing my own book is kind of the encompassing idea of the channel it is do-it-yourself and it is something that I have 100% done myself I fully wrote illustrated and am in the process of publishing my very first book. Now obviously I understand I'm not the most popular YouTuber. I am the definition of a small YouTuber. I don't make any money from my YouTube channel as of my time posting this um, and I maybe a little bit over halfway there if I'm looking at my current monetization stats um, but I don't have enough views or subscribers to be considered a monetized YouTuber so I don't make any money from this and I don't necessarily even think that I'm going to make a whole lot of money from publishing this book but I thought it was almost a disservice to myself to or to the, the girl that I once was to not at least give it a shot and with all the COVID going around and you know kind of being stuck inside and having a lot of time to kind of come up with my own projects and trying to find ways to fill my time I decided why not use the time that I have now to compile a bunch of my poetry that I've written in the last 11 years the entire book spans 11 years of my poetry um, and Put it together and, and make this the year. So obviously I just finished my first draft of it. I actually have it uh, being kind of proofread right now by some of my friends. Um, I chose not to have any professionals do it just because the nature of poetry to me is so personal and so specific on a certain style. It doesn't really have to follow traditional conventions and as such I decided it would be best to send it to you know your average Joe. With that I took a bunch of time to uh, illustrate everything. I have the whole concept from start to finish is entirely based around different emotions and personal growth and self growth. Um, though I wouldn't call it like a self help book it definitely is kind of me kind of documenting my experience trying to self actualize uh, who I wanted to be and what I think that my life goals are. Now where uh, the actual video comes in and kind of what I wanted to do to not only celebrate the fact that I finished my first draft but also to announce it to anyone who might care. I know I do have friends and family that watch this channel so they might actually want to buy it. I'm not sure how many of the rest of you are interested in poetry. I'm sure many of you are not and uh, that's fine but uh, I did mention I did illustrate everything so I actually decided to do kind of in this video a sneak preview of a couple pages of my book which has have illustrations on them and I am just gonna color them and have a fun little vlog time for this fun bonus video. <laughs> of course nothing is final yet but what I'm about to show you is at the moment pages 147 and 148 of my book. I guess I'm ready for the reveal. Um, here are the two pages that I am going to be coloring today. This is actually one of my shorter pieces that I have here. Obviously you can't read it. I'm gonna zoom in in a second. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> but uh, this is one of my shorter pieces um, and this section of my book is focused around ambition. I decided to pick flowers that represented each of those emotions and use illustrations of those flowers in each of the sections. So this one is ambition and the flower theme is hollyhock flowers. All right, now seemed like the right time to switch up my angle. I'm going to be coloring this page with the following. I don't normally do a whole lot of coloring, so I don't really use these particular materials a whole lot, but I do have a set of colored pencils as well as the metallic pencils that I got from Dollar Tree, and I did a little review on these along with the other artist pencil sets that they have. Um, and I think I'm gonna do another page, I think this page I'm gonna do with the uh, Tombow Dual Brush pens, just cause I haven't used them in a while and I bought them, so I feel like it's uh, right to use them. Um, something that's great about hollyhock flowers is they come in a ton of different colors. Um, I did decide to go with this page and this section because um, I do think that um, 
this is one of my favorite sections of the book and hollyhocks are some of my favorite flowers. I like to think that ambitious is one of the uh, words that I like to describe myself the most. It took a lot of ambition and goal setting to do this, so it seemed appropriate uh, for this kind of announcement. And just, I'm just so excited about this and I know that a lot of you probably like have no really care about this, but it is important to me, which is I guess why I've decided to share it. Um, but if anyone is actually interested in learning how I went through the process of creating my book, I would love to make a video on that if that is something any of you are interested in. Just leave that in the comments below. And with that said, I think I'll just get started on some coloring. finished the first page with the colored pencils, I decided to take some of the metallics and just kind of add some fun pops of shine in some places. Um, for my last review, it's only really shiny in certain lighting. Um, but overall, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm glad I went with different colors. I feel like it would have been odd if I just would have done the whole thing static. I also never actually read the poem to you guys. Um, this poem is called Steps. And uh, it goes, I'm allowed to take steps in the wrong direction as long as I never let myself stop moving. And I'm going to do the art piece that goes along with it. I did one big art piece that went along with each section that included either a face or a hand or like some part of the body uh, to kind of show the, uh, the mixing of humanity and nature that I think kind of goes throughout the text. And I don't even know if I actually said this already, but the hollyhock, I picked that for this ambition section specifically because um, hollyhocks are kind of known to be like a really easy flower. They can root themselves in really like infertile soil and they are, and they grow really, really tall. So like the whole like symbolism of, you know, taking uh, something and, and managing to grow in spite of all the adversity, I think is really symbolic about the hollyhock flower. And actually I think for that reason, it's probably one of my favorites. I actually did start an Etsy shop where I am selling uh, digital prints or digital downloads of all of these. Um, the way that I have it set up right now is that everyone is going to be five dollars and uh, if you want to purchase four then you can basically get the fourth one free. In the description below I will add a link to my Etsy shop if this is something you are interested in having if you don't really care for the poetry but you really like the art or want to see some of the other art that is going to be available in the book and purchase it uh, you can do that as well. You know, I think the biggest surprise of this is that that is not red. That is just dark pink, but I think it looks really, really good with the rest of the flowers. Um, I decided not to fill in everything. I just kind of made lines to kind of create texture, and then I blended it out using the blending pen, that like little clear one there. Um, I wanted to fill this in because it was a, a space that was fillable, and I didn't really have a brown color because these are the only Tombows I have, and I actually really like these. I would like to continue coloring with these um, if I do continue coloring things in the future. Future, but I might like to get um, some extra colors because I don't know if this is enough to do everything I would like to do but I was able to kind of blend it out and kind of fill the whole space with like a nice soft wash so it wasn't all too much I layered up on the lips and I think it created a more red kind of tone uh, which is almost what I wanted um, I had a nice gradient of like greens dark greens these are really like light colors um, really pastel kinds of greens I would really like some darker ones too um, but overall I think it made a really cool like apple abstract thing. Um, it's really hard to tell, but I actually do have some gray washes, some really light gray washes behind these images um, that I'm assuming will show up better if I were to say print this with a uh, high quality print. I just did a regular print off of my standard at home printer. So I mean, if they don't show up, I guess it's not the end of the world, but I kind of wanted to highlight those a little bit by giving it these extra uh, lines around the outside. And for some reason, it looks like my dark green's kind of running out, but overall, I think it actually turned out pretty cool. That is actually all the coloring I had planned today. Obviously, this is just part of the draft process. Um, I'm still in the middle of getting everything reviewed, and then once I have everything finalized, I still need to wait uh, to get my copyright settled up and, um, you know, officially copyrighted uh, before I send it to the publisher. But I'm kind of hoping that if everything goes the right way, that I will have the book published and available for purchase sometime in the spring of 2021, ideally. Um, I'm actually really happy with the work that I've done on this and I know 
I keep saying this, but I, and I know it's probably not as big of a deal to you guys, but this is uh, something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time, and I hope at the bare minimum it has inspired you to do something that maybe you've been wanting to do for a really long time as well. So thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe. I put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time and occasionally on Wednesdays or Tuesdays if I feel like having a little bonus video. So um, that is all I had. Thanks again, and I hope to see you next week. Bye.